Hi, this is Gilly, Radio Prepper. I finally got the parts to finish my QRP Guys DSB digital transceiver. I did get a number of comments on using DSB for digital modes, in this case JS8. Using DSB is perfectly legal, it uses the same bandwidth as AM. A lot of people still use AM and nobody bats an eye. However, there is indeed a problem using DSB in a crowded part of the band used for digital modes. This is an AM signal and I'm sorry it's awful but <laughs> I have no artistic talent. Uh, an AM signal is comprised of a carrier, upper and lower sidebands. Now what happens here is that it's the amplitude of the signal that is modulated by your voice. In a modern radio, we don't need all this. We can get rid of some of it. We can get rid of the carrier, we can get rid of the uh, either the upper or lower sideband, be left with uh, USB or LSB. And this is DSB. DSB is just the same as AM, but the carrier has been removed. The problem with DSB using both sidebands is that in a crowded part of the band used for digital modes, your lower sideband can be interfering with someone else's signal. Once we remove the uh, lower sideband, we are left with the USB upper sideband, and that's what should be used with digital modes. And this is why, once again, I'm not going to be using this kit on a regular basis. I'm not going to be using FT8, leave it run all day while I'm at the office. <laughs> this is just an experiment. It's just to see if it works and maybe sometimes take it on some outings, uh, camping, just in case. But that's it. And here's the uh, Custom Crystal 7078. I'll solder the uh, 7078 crystal on the uh, low pass filter. I put a dab of uh, thermal grease on the transistors and I'm going to just band them over onto the surface of the circuit board and that will help conduct uh, heat into the circuit board itself. Now I should have something on top here to make sure that uh, there is more uh, well, heat sinking basically, taking heat away from these transistors because they're going to work at a 100% duty cycle. This little bit of copper should do fine. I'll thread a wire in it and just basically solder that onto the circuit board over the transistors. Something flat would probably have been better, but I think that should work. I installed my uh, magnetic loop uh, to test the transceiver. 1.5 to 1, excellent. Well, uh, I am getting some signals, that is a good sign. However, I made a big mistake. I had this little jumper here shortened when I first turned the board on and that put it into transmit. And I didn't have an antenna connected, so I'm fearing that I just fried my three uh, BS170 transistors. We'll see. I'll play with the bias and see if I can get any output, but... Uh, eh. All right, I plugged everything into my Mac Mini. Those are simply the uh, microphone and uh, headphone jacks, and they go directly to the computer without going through an interface. Now, I'll tell you, those BS170 are pretty tough because uh, they survived, <laughs> and I do get a signal, so let's try it out. Well, it seems like uh, I do get signals, and uh, we have uh, DK4PL and HB9AVK, now I'm going to try to uh, maybe send a CQ or reply to DK4PL maybe. I'm not getting much power out. My uh, watt meter shows about 300 milliwatts. So maybe I did fry a transistor. I'm not sure, but uh, my watt meter is not uh, calibrated properly. So I'm not quite sure. Here I am sending a message to uh, HB9AVK. We'll see if that works. With so little power, I have some doubts, but we'll see. Now I'm sending a signal report to uh, HB9AVK. I'll try to do the same for uh, DK4PL. Maybe I'll get a reply. Sending a CQ. Let's see if it uh, transmits now. Transmitting. Back to receive mode.
well it seems i really don't have enough power to uh, make contact here and i'll have to revisit this kit and uh, fix the uh, output power Playing with uh, the TX audio level, I managed to get uh, a 600 milliwatts indicated, but once again, I think my uh, wattmeter is not uh, calibrated correctly and is indicating less than actually is going through. By the way, I just received a bunch of crystals here from uh, Matthew, and one of them is a 14078, which means that I'm going to be able to build a low pass filter for 20 meters for GS8. So, Matthew, thank you very much, you're awesome. He has some for sale on eBay, so I'll put the link down below. Now, I didn't make any contact, <laughs> I really tried, but uh, I think I'm not outputting enough power, and that's probably because I might have fried a transistor. <laughs> 600 milliwatts is, is not a whole lot, it should be two and a half watts. Now, I know people have had success with this kit on FT8, so there's no reason why it wouldn't work on JS8, and I am receiving signals, so there's no doubt about that. Now, another subscriber told me about another digital transceiver that uses upper sideband, and that's much more efficient. It's called a phaser, I'll put the link down below as well, and that would be a much better choice in my opinion. So. When I get a bit of money, I'll get one and build it. If you'd like to speed that up, uh, there's a link to patreon.com right down there. And thank you very much to all my Patreon subscribers, because without them, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to do all of this. The phaser for the small price increase, uh, you know, $55 against uh, 29 it does bring you um, a much better efficiency and a cleaner signal because, of course, you don't have the lower sideband that can interfere with other signals. So that's probably a better choice, and I'm definitely going to uh, look into it. All right, I'm not messing around anymore. I got out the uh, PRC320, and that should definitely work. We can see with the uh, PRC320 that uh, we have much less signals present on the screen. And I think that's because, of course, uh, the uh, PRC320 has much better filtering. I think the uh, QRP guys kit uh, just lets in pretty much everything. As you can see on the right side, I am getting also many more stations listed. So reception is much better. Look at that, someone uh, received uh, Julian who sent a heartbeat, but I don't have him in my list here, so I did not receive his signal. Well, okay, I cheated a bit, I, I sent him a text, but that's probably why he came on, uh, on the air, but uh, darn, I wish we could have a, a little chat. Oh, looks like I got a message, yep, <laughs> excellent. So yeah, contact, I don't know if you heard me though. Test 02. I hope you enjoyed this build. I know it's uh, not as exciting as the field operations, but it's winter time and for me that's uh, kit building season. Have a good one!